Hello so guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can get a static IP address on your Nintendo Switch. Also guys, if you have questions and things like that, you can just go ahead and add me. Here's my friend code. You can just ask me some questions and things like that. So let's go back and let's go to system settings. And by the way guys, if you please can like and subscribe, thank you so much though. <coughs> On internet what you want to do is you want to get your phone or tablet or whatever you have and you want to take a picture of the IP address settings and you just want to take a picture of the whole thing of the connection status if you don't have anything to take a picture of you can just go ahead and get a pen and a paper write the IP address down so also the numbers and on the submit mask you want to also write down the name and the numbers and on gateway you want also ace to do that on the numbers so once you write that all down just click on internet settings <coughs> and on here if you are using wired connection just click on wired connection if you are using wi-fi just click on your wi-fi thing and let's do it the settings are just gonna be same for both of them so on wi-fi you just want to click on change settings too on wired connection also and once you do that guys you want to click on ip address settings and uh, select as manual <coughs> so once you did that you want to get your paper or your phone and look at it and you want to fill in all of these in what it says and things like that so you always want to fill in the same thing what it says on the paper that you just write it down or on the photo itself so you want to fill in the IP address the submit mask and the gateway and this is how you can get a static IP address and by the way guys a uh, difference between a dynamic IP address and a Static IP is that a static will always say, uh, stay the same. Once you start up your console back again, your IP will be the same. But on a dynamic one, it will sometimes change. It changes constantly, I think. And a static is going to be a lot better, actually. And you're going to not have like a lot of problems with your Wi-Fi uh, wi or wired connection, actually. And let's do save once right, you write it down. Now it will all be fixed guys and now you have a static IP. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe and comment down below and take care of yourself guys. Goodbye.